Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, creating an attractive comparison table within the Bricks Builder interface using Bricks Ultra's element. So, let's get started. However, before we jump into the detailed process, make sure to click on the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. This way, you won't miss any updates from us. Add Comparison Table Element Now, specify how many plans you want to compare or show. In the next step, write the title for your features. Then, include various features for your product. You can also add icons to these features and choose whether you want the icons on the right or left side. Now, let's customize the plan settings. Add the title and, if necessary, an image. Set the pricing details by entering the currency symbol, price, discounted price, if applicable, and the duration of the price. Also, include button text and its icon. You can choose where the button icon should lead. Don't forget to add the features for each individual plan. You can use icons, SVG, text, and rating icons to represent the features visually. Let's arrange the comparison table layout. Decide if you want to use the filter option or make it sticky. You can also choose whether to show a call to action button and pick where you want the buttons, at the header, footer, or both. Next, decide how you want the rating icons to appear either as icons alone or with numbers. Pick the rating scale you prefer. You can set the image width as well. Adjust the position of the feature title to start, center, or end. You can change the way pricing information looks using many different customization options. Pick the color for the active checkbox. Adjust the spacing between filter buttons and table, and set the spacing between buttons. Then, align buttons to start, center, or end. You can also give your individual plans icons a fresh new look by changing their colors. And there you go. This is the final preview of the comparison table. It has two buttons, one is filter, which helps you choose specific products to compare, and the other is reset, which lets you undo any changes and see the original table. Thank you for watching. Now, go ahead and give it a try to make comparison tables. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more such videos. You can find the documentation and demo page link in the description below.